peer group and coaching. We talked a little bit about mind pollution. Here's an example. Earlier this year, I was in Fiji and, oh, by the way, here's my little thing for peer group, like the A-team. <laughs> <laughs> my clip art, I stole off Google. Um, oh yeah, that's being recorded. We gotta edit that out. <laughs> Sorry, Google. Um, but you gotta have a peer group and you gotta have some sort of mentor in your business. You have to. I'm not saying you have to go hire a coach, but there's gotta be somebody that you can turn to on a regular and consistent basis. I thought this was so important, I had to figure out a way to be, uh, one of the goals I set for this year was to be around a specific type of peer group at least once a month. At least once a month. So I had to get into this, this calling, these conference calls, because I want a specific type of peer group. Because I know how important that is, you cannot do it on your own. You gotta have support. So earlier this year I went to Fiji and uh, we did a drill. We had to climb these telephone poles. Some of you heard the story or parts of the story. You had to climb up a 40 foot tall pole stand on the top of the thing, and then jump off and grab a handle. Now by the way, this day was very, very windy, and this was the first thing we did when we got there. So we're like trying to get to know each other, and by the way, here's your team, team one, team two, team three, team four. You put in this thing, you put in a line, and you, and you, you gotta do this thing. This guy was my coach right at the time. His name is Chuck, awesome guy. So as I'm standing in line, I was the 12th guy to go. As I was standing in line, People around me were freaking out. <laughs> Some of them were actually saying, I'm going to freaking die. <laughs> I, I'm not even kidding. I mean, they were that freaked out. They were scared to death of heights. Scared to death of heights. And I'm pretty athletic. I was in the Marine Corps and I was really good at obstacle courses and I'm not scared of heights at all. So initially I'm like, piece of cake. I'm probably going to be the fastest guy here. No big deal. <laughs> right? You know, I just had all this confidence. No problem. Wing was right up there. I didn't know, by the way, in my team there was an Olympic athlete and a professional triathlete. You know? <laughs> so I was a little bit mis misguided. But my point was I was totally confident going in and all of a sudden I found myself realizing it is kind of windy. This is pretty freaking high. You know? Because I was hearing my peer group was saying those negative things. It was really affecting my mindset. I went from being totally almost cocky and confident to being like, I might freaking die. There, there's a little rope here. You guys see this little rope? It's tied to a little Fijian dude, like <laughs> over in the corner. This is no like, you know, circus, Cirque du Soleil kind of setup. This is a little Fijian dude standing there holding your rope, okay? So I was like, all right, so let me start just climbing up this thing. And I, as I started going, you notice my hands are like underneath. The, I was started pulling like this. It's because I started climbing like this and my coach said, Eric, turn your hands over, it's a lot easier. I had a coach that was starting to help me make the process easier, okay? I'm going to rewind just a little bit, by the way. When I was at my poll, I was at my poll and I was like, I'm going to watch every single person that does this thing and I'm going to copy the person that does it the best, right? Model. I want to know how they put their feet, they put the right foot first, the left foot foot first, how they get up there, how, how they make it happen. Well, when I got up to my, being my turn, they said, Eric, the line over here is a lot shorter. Go to this other pole and we need you over here. No problem. So I started the process and it wasn't that difficult, but I had a coach that gave me little tips like turning your hands over. As you get higher, it gets a little more wiggly. The pole gets skinny and your weight of moving it around starts wiggling back and forth, okay? So I started realizing, wow, I might die, but I got this coach here that's kind of helping me along, along the process. I'm gonna keep going. So I kept going up to the very top and you get up to the very top and all of a sudden, the top of that pole is totally different than the top of the other pole. It was slanted the other way, the, like the spacing was off from the one that I had just looked at. So I got to the top and my task was almost completed and it was totally different than the way I thought it would turn out. You guys ever been there? Started a project and all of a sudden you realize, wow, it's totally different than I thought. All of a sudden, there's people cheering you on, but all of a sudden I could hear my coach. And my coach was saying, hey Eric, take a deep breath. Just real calm. It's like, okay, take a deep breath. Put your right foot here. He started just giving me the instructions of how to do it. All right, so I got all the way to the top and I was like, oh shit, it's high. <laughs> and there's no net. <laughs> um, but you know, you got off and you, and you jumped off and you grabbed that little handle, right? And it was a really cool, it was a really cool thing. Now, I could have probably done it on my own, but I had a much better, much easier experience because I had a coach along the way. And once I started the process, people were cheering me on. And I had seen other people do it before. So it became a lot easier. Now, that first peer group that I had, great people, but they were mind polluting me. 
They were giving me negative thoughts that was affecting my performance, or going to affect my performance. Now, I want to point out too, there was a lady earlier in the day who had sprained her ankle really bad and was really wanting to do this. Could not do this any longer because her ankle was um, hurt so bad. Her peer group said, mm -mm, we're not going to let you not experience this. They harnessed her up and hoisted her, the entire team, all 12 people, hoisted her up so she could see what it looked like 40 feet up in the air. Everybody around was starting you know, to tear up. I was tearing up thinking, how cool is that? The people around her barely knew her. They just met her that day. Put the effort, saw her sitting over there, thought, wow, she really wants to experience this. How can we help her experience what everyone else is experiencing right now? In a little different way, she didn't climb the pole, but she got to see that. And she experienced something that none of us else had, and that's 12 people hoisting you up, doing all the work for her. So this little story, I want to tell you, this like really sunk in how important the, the right peer group and coaching can be and making something more enjoyable. I probably could have done it on my own. In fact, I'm sure I could have. But I guarantee my experience was much more rich, much better, much faster, much more productive because I had the right peer group and coaching. It's the same thing in your business. That's why I put that as one of the key essential pieces of your business. You guys get the analogy?